Let's talk about JavaScript today. There are a ton of libraries and frameworks out there and you have almost infinite content on JavaScript. You can learn React, Angular, Vue, Ember, Polymer, Redux, Svelte, MobX, Meteor, D3, Ember, so on and so forth. The list goes on and on. Now, back in the days when I started coding JavaScript, uh, when I was initially introduced to JavaScript, JavaScript was one of the languages which was looked down upon as like one of the worst languages available. So flexible, it has no strict data types, so on and so forth. And this is about five, six years from now, uh, five, six years ago, actually. Since then, JavaScript has come a long way. It has gained a lot of reputation in the community, although the big bad big boys still think that JavaScript is not really a good language. But, you know, it's their own opinion. But the thing is, with JavaScript being so accessible now, so easy to do, a lot of frameworks have popped out of it. Does that mean you need to know them all? Well, actually, no. You don't need to know any of JavaScript framework except the few you choose your stack in. For example, you could choose your stack to be limited to just Angular or just React or just Vue, right? Other components, other services like Ionic would take care of JavaScript world in that other part. For example, if you choose your stack to be in, let's say, Angular, right? You have for mobile development, you have Ionic, which supports Angular out of the box. You have native script, which supports Angular out of the box. Right. If you choose your stack in React, you have React, which is a web a web library. Obviously, you have React Native. You even have native native script. You can write React Native script. You now have Ionic for mobile applications. So what you have to understand is pick up one language you write, one language you like. I would recommend if you are starting off, taste as many languages as you want, as many frameworks as you want go with React, Angular, Vue, and all that stuff, but don't spend a lot of time, a lot of time on all of them, right? Just taste a few, see which, which, which one fits best with you, with your interest, and then go all into that. If it's React, go all into React. If it's Angular, go all into Angular. If it's Vue, or if it's some other framework which I have not heard of, go all into that. You need to have your tech stack in hand so if someone asks you that which frameworks are you confident in or what is your tech stack eventually so you should have an answer like if you're a javascript fanboy like i am you would answer you would probably answer like node react yeah on the front end it's react on the back end it's node right on mobile app development it's react native for desktop applications you obviously have electron and uh, yeah with React comes Redux, obvious choice. And for other state management libraries like Mobix, you can go and try them. But again, for that part as well, uh, try to choose your stack and be specific to it. We don't want to be jack of all, master of none here. We want to be jack of all and master of one, right? So it's important to be master of one in today's world, not master of none. So with that being said, I just wanted to take out this video because I've been seeing a lot of content being popped up on YouTube these days regarding different frameworks, different libraries. And I just wanted to make make this um, available to everyone that you are not supposed to learn everything in JavaScript. Pick up your stack, whether it's whatever library you like, master it. You're always going to find a company which hires you for that particular stack. Don't worry about that. If it is popular, companies are looking for you. It's not that if you're learning a particular framework, sure, it depends on region to region. I'm not saying that. But at the end of the day, if you are good in your stack, you will eventually get a company because no country has uh, banned any sort of JavaScript framework yet. Right. So it's not that if you're learning React and you are in India or if you're learning Angular and you are in US, you won't get a job. That's not the case. So you pick up a stack, master it, 
know about other things it's always good to know about what's happening in the uh in the world actually but don't let it confuse don't get it twisted that you need to know everything in javascript right so those were my two cents for people who are confused on what they should learn on javascript where they should begin start with everything end on just one right that's the point i'm trying to make here yeah so that's pretty much it for this video it should rather be a podcast i guess not a video but uh, i just have uh, the channel for now but yeah so that's all for this one and if you like this don't forget to subscribe we are so close to hitting 100k let's make it as soon as possible so that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next video